The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Uh, okay, folks, uh, this is Ed McMahon setting in for Johnny Carson. That's what I feel like today, setting in for Basil Chapman. But uh, we're going to try to get a few of these things done. This is Larry Pesavento for TFNN today. I'll also be doing my show. But uh, I want to bring out a couple of things that are going on in the market, folks. Let's uh, bring over the Treasury bonds because, you know, these have been going down since Hector was a pup. And they continue to break lower, as you can see, uh, over the last few days. We made a little 382 retracement there here uh, on Friday. And as you can see, we're continuing to go down a great deal lower. Folks, the number that we're looking at here in the Treasury bonds, believe it or not, is down here at 106. You know, see, we're nine handles away, and we're really dropping quickly. And remember, we had this big move down here, and that's what this was equaling to right here. Uh, people seem to be surprised, but we're not really because the Federal Reserve said they were going to raise rates, and that's exactly what they're doing. So whether that affects stocks for a long period of time, I don't know or not, but that's what's happening. This is the main reason why I think the markets are selling off so much is because the fact that the Treasury bonds you know, are so, uh, you know, so very, very weak. Now, I posted the chart of the uh, E-mini S&P here because we're very close to some serious support here. Let's get this up here and bring up the daily chart and you'll see uh, we've been waiting for this to get down here to this level right here at about 43.16. Uh, so far our low has been uh, 43.38. Uh, we rallied about 30 handles here just a minute ago, but this is where I think we're gonna go, which is at 43. Now if we get below this, and if we get below this, that's going to be crazy because that's going to be interesting. But as Tommy mentioned before, you know, we just had a 1% rally in the Russell and the, and the NASDAQ rallied 100 points. So the first thing I'll do is when I'm watching this, if I'm watching the S&P, I'll just go down to a smaller time frame and see what's actually happened. So, oops, let's got this out of the way. Here's what, here's what happened last night. You can see we had an A, B, C, D pattern right here. And then we had another one forming right in here. Let's just get these in here. I'm just an, a, an old ABCD guy. So there's your ABCD there. There's your ABCD. Whoa, where are you, Bubba? Whoa, Bubba. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, it's a squirrely little rascal. Anyway, that's pretty close to right on the money. Now, you notice we've, we've rallied 30, 33 handles very, very quickly. But the first thing you want to do is to go back and look at the 382 from the hide that we made here on Friday. And you can see that's all we've done. Now, the first key that we've got a major bottom in here is if we start going about 4362 now, that will be a uh, that will be a really uh, <laughs> that'll be a good uh, that'll be a good thing to uh, to uh, be looking for. So anyway, that's uh, that's what we're watching uh, here this morning uh, in the S and P. Okay, so just keep that in mind. That's what we're watching is to watch how these markets jump around the ABCDs, and that's what we're watching for. Okay, now the next one, of course, uh, we you notice here in the gold market. We came within a heartbeat of the 382 again last night, missing it by half a dollar. We hit it back here. We're still heading lower, as near as we can tell. So, you know, keep your stop at break even if you happen to be short that gold from 48. And then also, the other one that is really exciting here from a uh, technical standpoint is the Dow Jones uh, E mini, folks. I want to get this up here to show you because it's got some really interesting stuff right where we are right now. Now, here, this is the 60 minute chart, and this is when we switched over from the December. So just forget that. This, this is okay, and this is okay, but this is what you want to see this right here because you've been, we've been down here now to the 1.618 expansion here, one, two, three, four times in the last three hours. And that's right where we're trading right now. Now, if we start closing below that, that means we're going to be going a lot lower. But basically what it looks like is we're completing this big A, B, C, D pattern to the downside uh, in this area. So it's going to be important to whether we hold this up or not. But the fact that we are 
and the fact that the Russell's bounced a little bit and the NASDAQ rallied 100 handles, that's a sign that we might be looking at bottom. If you remember, if you listen to the regular show that we have here uh, every, uh, every day at Trade What You See at 1 o'clock, we talked about when we had uh, Rosh Hashanah, which was uh, today, and then if we look at where we had uh, Yom Kippur, uh, which, excuse me, folks, Rosh Hashanah was way back here on the uh, 20, on the 15th. And then, of course, today is, uh, uh, yesterday was uh, the, the, was Ram, Yom Kippur. I think it ends today, but uh, it says on the calendar, the 24th, that would have been yesterday. But the adage was, was uh, the old uh, biblical adage in the stock market was to sell on Rosh, sell on Yom Kippur, sell on Rosh Hashanah, and buy in Yom Kippur. And that is nothing more than a lunar cycle out of the Bible, folks. Now, whether that whether that means anything or not, this year it happened to work. But I've looked at those in historical years, and they only work about 60% of the time. And many of the times they invert. You know, so that's why I'm watching that one uh, relatively closely as we're following some of these things in here. So keep a really close eye on this one here. In the uh, in the Dow in the Dow Jones now this is not a really good three drive to a bottom folks as you can see here because we really don't have any symmetry you see if you had some really good symmetry here it would be nice but we do not have that but there's drive one there's drive two and there's drive three now whether that's going to be enough to make a three drive I'm not sure but there's just not any really good symmetry see the thing doesn't even catch it right so that's why it's a little more difficult we'll draw it in again so that we can see it, it's hard to draw with this thing going on because these things are really super sensitive. But that's we should get a pretty good rally in here, would be my guess, starting sometime uh, today. And of course, we had the equinox, uh, the autumn equinox on uh, Saturday, which was uh, a big deal. At least it was from the Mayans and the Egyptians and the people from Stonehenge, but maybe not so much from the people that the offices abroad and wall. Okay, now let's move on. We've covered the gold and we've covered that and we want to cover the currencies because that's where the fat lady is dancing today, folks. We have broken through substantially of all of the numbers. We worried, we warned everybody about that last night in our video, well, early yesterday uh, on Sunday. I said, be careful because the pound is saying it wants to go a whole lot lower. We'll do the pound second, but we'll look at the euro here. You can see after we had that uh, big move up here to the 61% uh, retracement, all we could do was rally back uh, just about to the 50% level here uh, on Friday, and now we're breaking down. Here was a key that was not going to work, was right here last night. We had a two-hour rally here, folks. You see this two-hour rally? Okay, Johnny, raise your hand. What was that two-hour rally? Yes, boys and girls, it was spot on right there at the old 382. Now we're coming down and you got to go to the daily chart. Well, we've got to actually go to the weekly because we're really starting to accelerate. We've broken through. You see how we broke through here? Um, and now we're breaking down uh, even more. So that's that tells us that we are going. I mean, I don't care. We're 11 weeks, but it doesn't make any difference. It could be set. Look at this one. What did we go? 18 weeks. And we can have 18 weeks to the downside, so you don't really know. That's the that's the fair. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. 
for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities. Subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay. Okay. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento setting in for Basil Chapman. And since we've only got you for an hour today, let's have a little fun here. I'm going to bring up a chart here of the crude oil. You can see we uh, jump around quite a bit in crude, but this is where we are right now. This is a kind that I like to see. We've had a big move down. Okay, we rallied up 61. We came down. Now we're testing the 382. We have to go back to the high right back here. We just made the 382 just now right here at uh, 89.98 i would be putting my stop here <clears throat> at 90.18 i'm only going to risk 200 dollars because there's a 382 it should stop my stop would be here at 90.18 okay that's all i'm doing i, I don't know if it's going to work or not i know that it's going to work two-thirds of the time and that's all i'm going to look at okay now let's get back to what we're talking about here with the s p because several people have already emailed me, uh, there's a gold starting to break. That's what we like to see. This is what we like to see. See that gold starting to break? There is what we like to see. Hold on. Let's move over here now to the uh, to the S and P here for just a second. We won't worry about the the crude oil for a second. But anyway, let's take a look here. You see, we made the uh, the three eight two here in the S and P. That was off of the high. Okay. Now, that's important. There are two reasons why it's important, folks. These markets, what they do is they repeat over and over again. Remember, we did this, this pattern right here. Now, if that move right there is any good, it should have repeated right here. So we just move this over like this, and there it is. You see how it repeated? Right at that number right there. So that's basically how you determine a trend line. Because if you look and see and you drew this down like this, there's, there's where it is. That's where we start closing above here. That's telling you we got something good going. The fact that we've had this big jump right here, that's a good sign too. But the bad part is it hadn't gone any higher than that. So that's why we got to be watching it, okay? That's just the normal fluctuations in the market, as they say in a trade. Hold on now. Let's go back, and I'm going to repeat what we were doing here uh, in the crude oil. And uh, we're going to find out whether it's going to work or not. Right now it's not working. But remember our stops, we, we sold it at 
89.98, and our stop's going to be at 90.18. That's only uh, $200 in a market that's worth 90000 So what I'll do now, I'm going to put my stop in right here. If they get me, they get me. So be it, and move on to the next one. I won't even be looking at it. Okay, now let's go back. And here's another one that I'm looking at today. There's, I, I want to get this back to the bonds for just a second, folks, to show you why these markets are so very, very uh, susceptible to down moves. Is because what's happening in the bond market, let's get this up on the longer time frame because this is where the big daddy rabbit plays. And you'll notice here we're breaking down really. Uh, oh, shucks. Now it's, saying it's not seeing the charts. Let's go back here. Uh, not seeing the charts now. What's going on here? You have to manually click the screen. What am I doing wrong here? All right, let me. Uh, okay, let me try to do this again. Hold on. Oh, boy, uh, just don't give a don't give a. Uh, uh, okay, now. All right. What what am I doing now? Am I showing the screen or the application? Boy, I, 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 you're trying to. Well, I'm going to try to get this thing right here, and we'll get it done here. Uh, hold on to see if we can see. I hope – click the screen. Now. I don't know if that gets me to where I want to show you or not because this tells us that uh, – uh, come on. I'm not getting these Skype messages from people. that wrap me. <laughs> Hang on on those. But, folks, this looks like basically what I'm trying to show you here is that we're heading down to this level right here. I, I don't even know, you know, <clears throat> hold on one second here. I want to check with the folks at TFNN to see if it's working now. Is it working now? Is the screen working or not working? I'm going to try it one more time. I think it's time for me to pick up my toolbox and get out of, get out of Dodge. <clears throat> All right. Is it working or not? Does it, does it show the screen? Someone please tell me because I can't do both. I can't look at the screen and see if anybody in TFN is a answering me. So I do not know the answer to that. Well, <clears throat> sorry, Basil. I'm doing a terrible job at your show today, but nothing else I can do about it. Anyway, this is what we're looking at, folks, here in the Treasury bond. I hope you can see the Treasury bond chart. I'm going to be uh, looking at it right here. Oh, boy. Well, I think it's working now, but I don't know for sure. All right. There's our big leg way back here last year. There was our ABCD move right here. That's taken us to 106, folks. Um, that's nothing more than a large ABCD down here, 106. And believe me, you know, Treasury bonds can go there without any trouble. Folks, do you remember two and a half years ago? Let's just bring this up here to take a quick look at it here on the long-term monthly. Uh, you remember up here where we were making that big three drive to a top pattern? up in here and they were telling us how wonderful negative interest rates were going to be for us do you remember that um can someone tell me whether they can see the monthly treasury bond chart to see if that's coming up or not and uh we're going to see if that's going to be the case or not let's just double check <sighs> that's what i've been trying to do I, that's what i've been doing i go up there and I hit screens, and then I hit screen one, and go live. And then that should do it, I guess. Let's see. Now you got it. There you go. They say I've got it, whatever that means. <laughs> okay. Here's the monthly treasury bond chart going back where we topped several years ago. Remember, this was uh, negative interest rates, folks. Greatest thing ever to happen to us. And now you see where we're coming down to now. I mean, we're, we're – <laughs> folks – if you go back and look at this, I mean, I can go back a very, very long time here, and you can remember, because when I first started trading bonds in 76, when they first came out, you know, they were trading at 59, and that meant that interest rates were 13%, because it was a 16% yield on that bond. Now, 6% yield doesn't seem like a big deal, but we're not very far away. But look at this, folks. We're, we're in big trouble here. We're, we're, going, we're looking at interest rates. Interest rates hit 8% on the mortgage market today, I saw on uh, TFNN. So, uh, not TFNN, on uh, Bloomberg. So, let's remind ourselves of that. So, get this back to where we are here on the, on the bonds. We're still breaking down. There was the 382 uh, last night. We, we pointed this out. 
to you folks on Friday. If you remember, there was the 382 right there. We'll just draw that in so we can see everybody can see it together. And there it was right there. So pretty much spot on. Went above it by about six ticks. And now, you know, we're heading down. So uh, it's pretty, pretty nasty. Now, the key to watch today, folks, let's just get back to not to lose. Because see the bot see here. See, they, they, now we're starting to lose. We're losing ground now in the Dow Jones, and I'll I'll bet you that that 382 stopped the S&P. Let's just move these window. Hold on just a second. Window. Uh, how do I get this thing straightened up here? Uh, uh, top vertical. Okay. Where's our S&P at? Yeah. See, the S&P cannot get above that 61% retracement, folks. That's why it's having trouble. Okay. We're going to take a break here, 877-927-6648. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we're going to talk about the crude oil. It uh, started to work in our favor here for just a second. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to try to get back up there. To show it again, here's where we are. Now we sold it here. Now we've already it's up $500 now. So what you want to do is you want to have your stop at break even. 
But also what you want to be doing is you're not trying to cover this at $62 a barrel. What you'd like to do if you get lucky, and sometimes you do, you take your A leg right there. There's your B leg right there. There's your C leg right here. Your profit objective would be right here at, let's, let's call it 89.12. Okay, now if that came in at 89.12, you'd have made $800. So you're either going to make $800 or you're going to break even. OK, now the C, the key here is you'd like to see this start getting below here because this level that tells us, yeah, this A, B, C, D, the fact that we've made a double bottom here a little early. But if we do break below that, that tells us we're most probably going to get ready to get to that level. So that's would be your place. You're going to either your break even or you're going to make a couple of bucks. That's basically the bottom line of, you know, what we're watching as we're as we're doing this. OK, someone asked a question. Is that number that we're looking at in the S&P still valid? Of course it is. If you take a look at this, what we're seeing here now is just the market backing off again. There was there was the equal move. There was the equal move right here. Now we're starting to back down right here. We had this big move up that caught a lot of short covering, just like this one did. Okay, look how. Let's just check and see how if that market repeated. We went from 43.62 up here to 42. Now we rallied 28 handles. Okay, on this one right here, we rallied. 27 handles so see how they're almost almost equal so that's what we're watching but it's coming down quietly this one came down way too fast but this one's coming down quietly so we've got a little bit of a chance in here that these stocks could hold if they get above here they're going to go they're going to have a rally is my guess if we get above 43.65 i believe we'll probably have a rally it's due we're down about six or seven days I think at least six or seven days. Well, I can tell you right now, we started on uh, on Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah on the uh, the fifteenth. That was uh, Friday, and here we are, uh, six, seven, eight, eight days. So there we are on the eighth day, right here on the twenty fifth. So that should be a, should be a start of a rally if it's going to rally at all. So I hope that uh, makes some sense. But that's what we're watching here as we're starting to unload uh, these things going on from where we are right now. Okay, let's move on here to the next one here and see what else we've got here. Oh, let's take a look at what the possibility would be of a profit in this, uh, the gold that we've been watching. There you can see, there's your 382 retracement here. All we did was go back and almost uh, hit it again exactly. And now we're starting to move down uh, what we would be expecting now Remember, now, this is just a 13-minute chart, but it gives you several days' action. And so you'd be watching for this uh, that old pattern that we love so dearly, and that's the old A, B equals C, D, as Mark Douglas would say if he were sitting here next to me. And uh, that would tell us we've got a shot at 1913 here in the gold if we get below here. And you see we hit it once here, and we haven't gone below it yet. But if we start getting below here... If we start getting below here, that tells us we're going to be probably heading down uh, to that level uh, right here. Now, I just since I've been watching these things, let me move over. I want to uh, get the, uh, the thing corrected here so we can see things together. And I didn't hear my beeper go off in the... Uh, in the crude oil, I just didn't. Uh, oh, I had it said it did go below it by a little bit, but didn't the beeper didn't go off? So keep your stop working at either break even, or you're going to cover it at 89.12. That's what I would be doing that way. If you wanted to book yourself $400 here, you're certainly welcome to do that. That's uh, that's certainly acceptable. Uh, I'm going to go for the gold and <laughs> try to get down there at uh, 89.12 because uh, and that's just the way I. I don't want to watch too much stuff or, during the day. My main focus today is this S&P here, folks, because if we can get it above 43.65, that's got a chance for a pretty good rally. And the reason why, you know, we're only down a little bit today. I mean, you know, Russell's still up, the NASDAQ's still up. I mean, this is this is not acting like a really bearish market. Now, if you look at the currencies, look at that. These things are, this is not a weekly anymore, but let's get this up here on the uh, currency. Look at these. these. These currencies are dropping like a rock. I mean, they're just, uh, you know, they're really going down hard. Your, your pound is breaking. Your yen is breaking. Uh, yen's going up. That's one we should check because I think that's a really interesting one to look at here. Hold on one second. I want to show you something about the yen that is very important from one of our good friends uh, over in the U.K., Mr. MB, and I want to get this up here. Hold on, I want to get this out of the way here. Get this out of the way here. I want to show you this Japan. This is the Japanese yen 
I hope this is still coming up. Let's get this up here so that we can see it uh, long term. Let me get this up here. I want to get, uh, hold on, hit change. I got to hit uh, change, share my screen. Oh, what did I do wrong here? Screen one. Oh, dear. Now I've messed it up. Change windows. Let me try here. Screens. This is what I want here. Okay. Get it up here. Uh, okay. Now I hope you can see the the uh, long-term picture on the uh, Japanese yen. This is going back uh, 50 years, folks. 1975, we're making a 382 retracement from 1983 right up in this area. This is why this 150 area is so very, very important in the yen dollar. That is really a big one. You got You can see the ABCDs. Now, that's long-term monthly. I hardly ever look at that. But the fact that that number is there and we've been there, <laughs> that's really important. So we've got to be very, very uh, cognizant of what the heck's going on uh, with that stuff right now. So I hope that hope that makes a little bit of sense of uh, what we're paying attention to here today. Someone asked a question about uh, the the price of Apple. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up the uh, price of Apple and uh, get the chart up here. One second, Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Let's do the daily. So we'll get the daily up here. This has been acting relatively well. You get this. There's where we are right now. And here's Apple, okay? And there's where we go. Remember, this is where we this is where we broke the long-term trend line. If you remember that right there, we had that focus for quite a while. Then we came down and look where we stopped, folks. Can't make this up. There was your 61% retracement right here at $1.90. We're now trading at 174, still holding up. I mean, we're we're still higher than we were 3 days ago. There's a still possibility we're going to make 162, which I think we will make, but we might get a might get a little bit of a rally in here before that happens. But this last rally, if we look at this, if you like 382s, let's just see if that happened to be a 382. Wouldn't that be amazing, Johnny, if it was? Hold on one second. Johnny's got his placard up. He says 382. Shut the front door and give the young man a candy cigar. He's hit it right on the money. 382 right there on the old Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Three days ago, it hit 179.85, which was none other than ring a bell. I did have my old John Hill bell there, but I can't reach it <laughs> uh, at 382. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's the bottom line of uh, what we're watching uh, right now. Okay. Let's move on here and someone else a question about Tesla because uh, they have a position in Tesla and they're asking me what I'm looking at. We're going to take a break here. We're going to get back with Mr. Elon Musk and his favorite stock, Tesla. So stay with us. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavino setting in for Basil Chapman. We have a request about uh, Tesla. Now, um, you'll notice this was the day when they came out, uh, gold, uh, Morgan Stanley folks right here came out and said, this is going to go to 440, okay? Well, it went to 280, 278, exactly 78%, as you can see. This was drawn in by the program that, that I use with Ensign, and that's exactly what we've done. Everybody that did that is now setting with a $20 loss. I mean, they thought it was going to go to 440. I, hey, you know, folks, it probably will go to 440, but it ain't going to go there today. So all I'm saying is I look at these numbers. That's all I do. I'm a number person. If you don't like ABCDs, folks, maybe this will give you a little bit of a hint why it might be uh, profitable to take a look at it. There is A right there. There is B right there. You see 618 right there? That's C. And look where D is, folks. 105. Low on the stock was 104. From 104, it went to 300. Where was that? 61% of the high that it made way back here. These numbers work. The trouble is they don't work all the time, and that's what you want to remember. So this is – someone's asked me, where do I think it's going to go? Well, let's go. Let's just take a look at the numbers. Now, this is a daily, so if we look at this, we go from the last low that was right here, go up to the high. And it should be sitting, uh, we're sitting right at, the low today was 237.87, and that was a 61% retracement of this move right here. So if you buy it there, it's a $241 stock, you only have to risk four bucks. I mean, my God, that's only less than 1% for heaven's sake. So that's what you'd want to be looking for, because it stopped right there where it should have. Whether that means anything, don't know for sure, but that's what it's doing anyway. All right, let's get back to our... Uh, crude oil here to see how we're doing we did get down a little bit lower we got down to uh we got as low as 26 uh, so we're getting closer so if you're still in it look for 89.12 you're not very far away and uh that's it we did have a little bit had a little bit of a rally here about 30 pips in between that time but not too much is uh not too much is happening as we as we look at this unfold today now since we've got a little bit more time in here we've had one other request to take a look at another one of the big stocks which was NVIDIA, and I think that starts with an N, doesn't it? Let's get up here and find if we can find NVIDIA. There's N. Uh-huh. There it is right there. So we're going to bring up NVIDIA, and we're going to take a look at NVIDIA to see what it's doing. This has been a big, big, big stock. This is Everybody loves this stock. They loved it a little too much up there at the three drive to a top pattern. Let's just draw that. In right there so there's where we were here this was the big gap this is the three drive pattern folks there's drive one you see the symmetry here there is drive one 
There's drive two, there's drive three, okay? That's what we're looking for. Now, we also like to see, when we have that, is we like to see A, B equals C, D. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be perfect, but it's going to be close. There's your A leg right there. There's your B leg right here. There's your C leg right here. And it should have gone to 516, but it went to... 502, so it missed it by a little bit, and then, of course, I hit it twice, five, 500, and then looked like it was going to go to 516. It made a 1.27 of this swing right here, and now we're coming down. So we should be coming into really strong support here in NVIDIA. And the reason why is if you go back to the last where we had the gap, you're going to be seeing that there's where we are. There's our 61% retracement. We're back above. Apex actually up on the day, too. So we're above the high of the last three days, right at the 61% retracement. Another reason we might get a little bit of rally here in some of these stocks. So that's that's what we're looking at here in NVIDIA as we're going through. Now let's take a quick look at the old stop and pee here because this is where the pedal meets the metal. And we're going to find out whether it's got any rallying power at all because it's holding up relatively nicely. See, for the last high we made, we pulled back. On the pullback, we went exactly to the 61% retracement. You can see within uh, one tick of the exact 61% retracement. So all we, no all we have to do now is start getting it above here, and the shorts are going to get a little nervous because, folks, we're only, we're only down just a little bit on the day. I think we're down like four or five points. That's nothing considering we were down 30. Hello, operator. I mean, you don't have to figure that one out very much, okay? So let's uh, remind that. You can see here the British pound just keeps uh, heading for lower ground. So I don't know where the pound is going. If we look at this, this was another question that someone had. I'll uh, get the daily up first on the pound. And uh, the key here was when we went below that 124 level because that was such an important level uh, right here. If you remember, that's it. And, then, and when we broke the 1.618 two days ago, another reason to tell us we were going down. And if we looked at this, on the long-term weekly, which we spent a lot of time on our Forex. Look at this. See how it broke that 124 level right here? Well, actually, 123.50, and now we're at 122.03. So we're still going down uh, quite a bit. How much lower? I don't know. But remember, back here, we got to 103 and change, and then we rallied to 132. So who knows? This was a, well, you can see this is a cascading low right here. But anyway, that's what we're watching here. There's just no support here. Uh, in the euro or the dollar or any of these. I mean, everybody wants to uh, be long the U.S. dollar, and maybe that's the right thing to be. At least it is for today. That's absolutely for sure. Okay, someone asked me to take a look at the NASDAQ since we have a few minutes here, and we'll see what it's been doing. I have I don't trade the NASDAQ very often, but let's get it up here. Here is the, uh, the December, and uh, you'll see here that we've got a price objective originally down here but you notice here that we did we took out this low right here of august we took out that low which came in at uh 114792 the low today was 14782 so it took this out by 10 points and then it rallied 100 points i'll just pop it up to let you see what it did boom there there was your rally right here and then the same thing here, you want to see the pullback. There's your pullback right at the 61. This is important. Let me show you why. If you go back and look at the last high we made right back here, Johnny, raise your hand. What do you think that is, Johnny? Uh-oh. Guess what? It's 382. It's actually a little more than 382. It's almost 50%. But this is why it's so important now because you've had the test. Okay, you've had the low, you had the rally, now you had the test, so it's holding okay. As long as we can stay above this level right here, we've got a chance for the market to close higher today. And I don't know whether it's going to go, but it's not going to go very far. Folks, the main thing that you've got to keep in mind, and this is my two cents worth, and believe me, if you pay more than that, you will be paid. Look at this S&P now. I want to show you something because this is really super important, okay? This is, I'm going to go to an hourly chart and just show you why, okay? If all we can do, there was a 382 right here. If you remember that one, that was from that level right there. We've already talked about that. That was that was the Fed Day right there. There was Fed Day right there. Now, we, we're looking for the next one that's going to come in right here. It didn't come in here. It might come in here. So what you want to be watching here is the next day or two. Might, might be, well, might be today. Hold on. From your high down to your low to this level, whatever this low is down here, it might go lower. 
But whatever that low is, watch for the 382. It comes in here at 4403. That's the one you want. It takes three days to get here. Mortgage the house. Sell it. It's going lower. We'll be right back, folks. Billy Ray Valentine from Basil Chapman. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to... Uh talk about this crude oil trade that we have on here right now. Right now, it's up about $660. Uh, actually, it's up, uh, yeah, $660. And we're trying to make $800, so that's close enough. So I would just go ahead and cover the position here around this $89.30 level. That'll lock in at least $600. You're going to give up this, possibly, but remember, it could also rally more. So I would rather get out here and then take a nice little profit. That way the people from Basel Show won't throw eggs at me. And I don't like eggs when they're rotten eggs. Those are bad eggs. And don't throw hard-boiled eggs either. They hurt. 
So anyway, I know just as soon as we cover it, it'll be here in a heartbeat, but that doesn't make any difference. Anyway, I just wanted to show you why I looked at that 382 retracement up here coming off of that level right here. You saw the big move down, the 382 rally back. And remember, this has been the most bullish thing that we've had here since uh, gold went to uh, what, uh, 2000, uh, 2100, just uh, five or six months ago. We're considerably uh, below that right now. Okay, anyway, that's what we're paying uh, close attention to here today. I'll be uh, doing some more uh, on my show at one o'clock. I'm hoping that we have uh, Joe DiNapoli, but so far I have not been able to reach him. So I'm probably going to be doing it by myself today. Maybe we'll have Joe on. Uh, tomorrow for a guest who's always have a lot of fun and he's been expecting a big break like this <laughs> you can see why i'm laughing folks it just hit the price objective 89 12 anyway that's neither here to there that's the way it goes <laughs> got to love it can't make it up folks fibonacci 877-927-6648 stay tuned for steve rhodes i believe 